Hi everyone, we're in June and we're halfway through 2024. It's been a wild ride in the GTA real estate market. After we saw the peak of the market in February, the market took an unexpected dip in prices and activity. Quite unusual for the typical hot spring market in the GTA. As we dive into the trends, May's stats are showing us that the market is still cooling down. This year's market slowdown can be due to the buyers waiting for the interest rates to drop and they just needed more confidence in the real estate market. But here's a kicker, the Bank of Canada just got the rates from 5% to 4.75%. That's only a $20 savings per 100,000 borrowed over 30 year amortization. So for example, for a million dollar mortgage, that's a $200 savings each month on interest. But the big question remains, will we see the market turn around in the second half of 2024? I'll share my market predictions later in this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more market insights. Bank of Canada hinted at rate cuts in July and September, depending on how the economy performs after the first rate cut. I believe those sideline buyers will soon jump back into the spotlight and buying real estate in the GTA real estate market. Now for our May 2024 real estate market update. Toronto Real Estate Board reported over 7,000 home sales through its MLS system. That's a 21.7 drop from the sales in May 2023. The average selling price dipped by 2.5% year over year. On the flip side, GTA saw over 21% increase in new listings and homes for sale, which means the buyers have now more options compared to last year. Now let's get to the condo market. The condo market has been hit hard with sellers struggling to offload units. However, I see an improvement coming in the next few months with sales of condos, especially for the ones that are valued under a million dollars. And that's because a lot of first time home buyers are entering the market. The luxury condo sector might take a longer time to recover, particularly for units that were bought between $1,500 to $1,600 per square foot from the builder. Those homeowners are facing a challenging time with closing and funding and selling in assignments this year. As demand is picking up in June and interest rates are heading down, we're gearing up for a hot market this summer. We expect that June, July, and August will be buzzing with better activity. If interest rates drop again in July 24th, brace yourself for a busy August real estate market in the GTA. Increased buyer competition will likely push home prices to go up slightly in the next few months. I believe that home buyers are still enjoying slightly lower prices compared to last year and with lower borrowing costs and knowing that they're decreasing, affordability is set to improve. The Toronto real estate market, houses and semi-detached homes saw a 14% improvement in sales last month. And we also saw a very active and well market in the Durham and Peel region. New York region real estate market kept steady and is doing really well and activity has picked up in New York region in the past week. In general, the GTA real estate market has been resilient and has kept a very good activity during the harder times where we saw eight interest rate increases in the last 12 months. And now with the rates going down, we're anticipating a much better performance. Despite the ups and downs of the real estate market, these two sectors tend to move forward together. I'm here to keep you updated with the latest trends and showcase the best investment properties in the GTA. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're considering buying or selling in the GTA real estate market, don't hesitate to book a consultation with me by clicking on the link in the description. I look forward to hearing from you.